Hello everyone, my name is Pew Pew Choo Choo, and today we will be playing Cities of Motion 2. So this is a recently released game, it's a tra transport tycoon-esque game where you take control of a company and you essentially go from rags to riches, I mean you build your own little company starting off with like a few stops and we will be taking a look at the sandbox um, portion of the game, we're going to be playing a custom map called New Hayford and this map just absolutely is humongous compared to the other ones and I think you'll see why in a second. Um, first and foremost, we need to get through this little loading screen with the people boarding onto the tram and the tram leaves, I suppose. So, um, a little bit about this game, I, I guess. I mean, they they put out an initial game, Cities in Motion, the original, obviously, which uh, focused on building uh, transport systems inside, uh, like European. Um, cities and then inside this game they kind of amped it up by a little bit because uh, they give the player a little more, more uh, freedom to do what he wants. So um, this is the world of New Hayford. It's a very massive map as you can see. Let's take a look at the uh, surroundings. So there's a nuclear power plant right here. There's a little city right next to it. Another little town and then a massive metropolis over here. This is New Hayford. This is Old Hayford. And then there's the town, or rather city, of Lawford over here. So, our goal for today is to build a success... I've never seen this before, but it looks like this is supposed to be representing some kind of pit mine. Um, so, today we will be starting our dream job, not really of building a successful business in the public transportation um, genre, I, I guess. So I've kind of decided on making this area right here, Old Hayford, our starting spot. So um, how exactly you're supposed to do this is really up to the player, but what I like to do is I, I like to form little hubs of transport where we can uh, just ship different people to. So um, this game is kind of like The Sims actually, I mean you do, we're a Sim City actually, you can build a town in theory with the map editor and play around with that, but our objective for today is really to just get these people from their homes represented in green into their leisure and workplaces represented with all the other colors. So we're supposed to be doing that right here see that we have a nice amount of uh, houses for all of our different students and people and we're supposed to get them to a school and all of that good stuff. Um, let's begin by kind of building a little bit of a tram network. So like I said I really like to make these uh, how I like to, what I like to call transport junctions onto the map and that's what we're actually going to do uh, right now in fact. So looking back at that data layer you can see that there's quite a lot of um, dirty workplaces here, factories and stuff for blue colored people. And there's also a shopping mart here, a uh, America shopping mart that uh, people really like to visit. So we're actually going to try to link up those two areas together into uh, one Junction, and we're going to put another one in the suburbs, obviously. So that's kind of uh, step number one inside this game. We want to do that right now. And we want to connect as many uh, different places as we can onto this network. So what I think I'll do here is that I'll kind of split up my tram system up to the side roads so that people can board. Now, fortunately, what that's going to do is that's going to put it all the way over here because um, this is all one stretch of road and if I wanted to separate it into smaller pieces, I'm going to have to demolish everything. Uh, something that I don't want to do right now. So let's do something like that. Make a, like, make a nice little junction with this one house right here. Make a, another transport stop. So now, 
we have one line going up to the suburbs and down to the hypermarket. And, you know, and let's uh, let's play around with that. What else can we do to kind of extend our line here? Well, I know what I'm going to do. I am going to make this junction fully compatible with this one right here so that we can bring people over here. And for the sake of uh, making things look real nice, let's actually bring this up and around the high school or school up here, whatever this building is, I believe it's a high school. School? High school, yep. So with our, ra with our tracks set, I was going to say racks set, we will uh, begin putting our stops onto the roads pretty much. And where can we get some decent cover? I want to put my uh, stops here at some really good locations. Uh, you you can, you'll kind of see that we have this uh, circular field of uh, like zone of influence map right here. And what I kind of want to do with this is that all I want to do is just space my places uh, evenly out so then we can kind of access every single one of these points. I want to put them at road junctions so then we can kind of get our people, uh, our trams to stop at even lo Oh no, the house disappeared. I kind of want the trains to just come on here, stop evenly, drop off this, its people without interrupting the traffic and leave. Uh, but the second thing with that is that we want to make it so that all of these places can be junctions. Uh, where we can just kind of route buses into trams and trams into buses. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. We have all of that good stuff over here set up. So let's uh, let's build up our infrastructure here and make it into a full-on um, system. First and foremost, we want to get that tram system. Oops, forgot to pause the time, but it's not a big deal. But we want to get that tram system working ASAP. So we're going to have to build a uh, a tram depot, connect the tram depot to the tram line, and get that first line going. So you always have to start with a depot. We're going to build a new transport line, and it's going to go around here. Stop there. Hit there come around, go to the school, and cycle back to our starting point, or then it will go into the tram depot. So that's going to be our tram line here. This, um, this red line represents the the four different junctions that we pretty much have. Four different junctions plus the school. Uh, with that created, we can add some transport vehicles to the line. So let's see which ones we can we should get. We're gonna get mm, maybe three of these, three of these trams to bring people into the line and out of the line. So those three vehicles are going to just kind of run this track for us. Now moving forwards, we now need to put down a bus stop. We want to do this because we want to get a another form of connection going on and a bus stop would link up all of these suburbs to our junction. So starting from here, I want one tram going into this neighborhood and then coming out here and then going to the junction of course and I want one going through this neighborhood and doing the exact same thing. So um, let's work on that. Let's see, there's already a pre-placed uh, stop for us right here. That's very kind and considerate of the map maker, but we're not going to take full use of it simply because it's not um, all that effective in our little piece of track here. So we're actually going to do something like that. And we're going to make another one that's going to go into this neighborhood. But to kind of make things a little more streamlined, we're going to bulldoze down this guy's house and make it very very easy for us to get into this neighborhood like this. I want to see if I can make this a uh, a regular road actually. Oh I can, that's perfect. 
that is good and then we don't need these two uh, little trolley stops can't delete this one for some reason alright so we want to get as much coverage here as we uh, possibly can without things being too uh, messy you want to place your stops so that you have a reasonable amount of coverage inside one area not too much though uh, simply because you just want your vehicles to flow really nicely throughout an area so um, right now our ultimate goal is well ultimately just to generate profit right but we need to do it in such a way that makes a reasonable amount of sense so like for example here we're going to take people we're going to pick people up from the suburbs and we're going to drop them off at the depot here uh, just before the depot we're going to have one stop right before it and this bus is just going to go here and go into the depot for maintenance now you need to complete your your tracks like this it always needs to start from one depot and end in another one i'm not sure if it needs to be the same one but the only problem with it is that what if somebody gets on at this stop and uh, like you know what do you do then right so with that being kept in mind i'm just going to place that right there so then we can have a nice little transition uh from going to the depot and going back out same thing on this line nice little passage like that it's going to come down curve all the way around stop at that one dead end uh last uh, last line stop and it's going to come back and into our little place so that can that pretty much covers that area and if I switch to the cover view you can see that um, we we hit a few places right all of this stuff is green and the rest of the world is red so now we can kind of move forward by a little bit now we can move into the metropolitan area over here and build some more and buses and trams and stuff and such like that to speed up the process. One of the things I think I'm going to do is I will be building a... I don't really know what these are called because uh, I don't believe I have them inside my city. A trolley system which is pretty much a bus system that runs on these electric uh, wires. Now inside my test game I really like to use this uh, little shopping mart as my center area and I think that'll continue throughout the series. But what I am going to be doing here is I'm going to get an electrical cart system to run through the heart of downtown and pretty much cycle through there. Now you might be asking why am I using buses over here, a tram line right here and electrical or Oh, if these are called trams, then what are these? Yeah, these are trams. Then why am I using a trolley system here? Well, if I use a trolley system here, it makes the process a lot more smoother, simply because uh, trolleys don't require as many drivers, as in we don't have to have like a million bus drivers, and their fuel is simply electricity, which is a little cheaper than petrol, so... Um, ultimately, your objective inside this game, inside the sandbox, is to make money after all. So this will be the most efficient form of getting people into and out of places. Have a nice little roundabout system like this. And this is of course going to go back to where everything starts. Let's actually get rid of this red line just so that we can kind of clearly see what we're doing. And that's going to connect back onto that network. So now we have one thing running down into downtown. Uh, we could go further and actually extend that line to this area over here. And you know what? I think I will do that actually. Now let's see, what should we do here? Hmm. 
curve it through the streets and kind of bring it back like that. And then just hook that up to the tram network. There we go. So, um, now we have to build a tram depot, which we'll place right here. And of course, we need to connect the tram lines. This place is a little busy now, actually. Now that we've uh, we've been connecting things all, all to this one hypermarket location, but I think it'll work out. So, we have a one bus depot covering the suburbs, and we have one thing covering uh, the majority of downtown. So let's see, this trolley line is going to need two of these stops right here. Oops. This tram line is going to need two of these stops. And then it's going to make one stop here. And one stop on the way back, so then we can get the majority of this area covered. And then we're going to have one line going through here, and we're going to have another line that goes around here. I don't want to use this stop right here simply because it creates a massive uh, bog down. For some reason, the, the traffic system just bogs down right there. I don't know why, but it does do that. So we, um, we don't want to necessarily touch up on that place, but we're going to have two tram line systems uh, going through the heart of downtown simply because they carry more traffic through them and then um, they're more efficient just in general. So this is going to be line number one and that's just going to be the work line. That's going to be a very very short cycle back here and into the uh, depot. And we're going to have a longer one that goes through here to here to here to here, to here. Uh, let's see. There's no way I can connect it here for some reason. Um, oddly enough, inside this game, there appears to be a bug where you can your vehicles don't actually they they need to turn in a loop. For some reason, it just simply doesn't work if you don't have a loop network set up, which is rather odd. I know, but hey. So we're just going to bring it in like that. And that completes our first ever little um, coverage coverage map. So that brings people in through there, and then that brings it back to that area, yeah. So this is good, we have a nice little uh, green zone right here and a green zone right here. The only problem is that I see a large amount of red right there. Uh, how are we going to alleviate this? Well, we're going to be building another bus depot because there's a few uh, a few buildings right here that I kind of want to coverage with, uh, or I kind of want to cover with a very small amount of uh, vehicles. So I'm probably going to use a bus for that one. Looks like stop 15 was a stop that we missed. So I'm actually going to go back here. And I'm going to put stop 15 on the cover map just so that we can uh, kind of make this a little easier. For the passengers, of course. So, same thing pretty much. We're just going to be making this roundabout route a little more manageable. And now that that's done, we have much better coverage, but there's still a few pockets of uh, places missing, so we're, go we're still going to build a bus line inside the middle of the city to take care of that. But for now, everything should be fine, and we are ready to start making some money. Uh, one of the things I want to do, first and foremost, we are definitely not paying these incredibly high wages, so we're going to lower them till happiness is at 80% get one inspector to catch all of the people who dodge fares um, simply because that's all just lost money for us and now we need to buy some vehicles let's see which one is good though?
These ones are slightly bigger, but their service quality is mediocre. These ones are smaller, but they have less capacity. I'm probably just going to go with the bigger ones. And let's buy those. The thing with buses is that you can actually overcrowd them, so you don't necessarily need that many of them. So we're only going to get four buses. Now that everything is set up, we will let the game run. First day, we're probably not going to make any money simply because nobody knows of our tram line yet. Oh, but no. I stand corrected. Looks like people are lining up for the trams. That is good. So let's see. Tram comes here, picks up all of the people. Why well, I hope all of the people. Oh no, they left one guy behind. Oh. And then the tram leaves and it goes to the other stop, drops the people off, and the process starts all over again. So, let's forward, speed up time. And because we have this nice uh, coverage map, people from the suburbs can get to pretty much every location inside the city um, perfectly fine. Now, in, in a sense, you should be like targeting uh, to, say, put down, there's a ton of green tenements over here, you should put down one stop right here and one stop to the workplaces right here, but since we made a nice web of interconnected uh, transport lines, and the game really rewards you for that, does so by jacking up your profits, one of the things that we can do at this point, oops, wrong way. We're going to increase profits by uh, raising up the, the ticket prices, but we're also going to institute um, one more of these inspectors, so then we can catch a few more of these uh, people trying to uh, board our trams illegally, or fair dodgers, and yeah. So this is a pretty good tram system, we're already making quite a lot of cash off of it. And now we can expand. You always want to be expanding. Now let's see how we can expand this network. Where's my coverage map? There we go. There's still a chunk of downtown that we haven't uh, fully covered. There's still a little chunk of area over here. The school is only partially covered. And this entire suburb needs to be hooked up to our lines. Let's get on started with that. First and foremost, we could build a line from the school into the neighborhood and hook this place up as a little uh, transport center. Now let's see. The cars inside this game, like I said, really enjoy making these uh, little loops and they can't actually turn around without them. Even the buses can't. The buses can't do U-turns, so uh, we need to do something about this, right? We need to make it so that we can build a nice and affordable road through this area. And we need to hook it up with one of these places. Ah. It looks like we're going to have to do something else with this, because right now I can't seem to find a a uh, profitable way to hook this place up. Let's actually see uh, what we're earn what we are earning off of all of these things. So the tram line is using the most energy, but it's also generating the or pretty much it's tied up for the most profits, which is good. And the tram line system is earning quite a lot of money at a cheaper price, which is good. The bus system is earning the least amount of money, but that makes sense because buses require gasoline, which is expensive, and it also needs a lot of drivers because it needs a lot more uh, buses to cover one area. So how are we going to expand? Well, we will be building a tram line once again.
And let's just hook all of this stuff up, so... What I kind of want to do is just bring the tram line into this neighborhood. But in a sensible way, so... This appears to be the main street that goes throughout the neighborhood, so we're just going to hook all of this stuff up. Link it all the way outside of the city. And then we need to build a pedestrian road. Uh oh. We're going to be building a pedestrian road, which is pretty much there, so that we can hook it up to our um, little system that we've created here. Oh, please don't tell me you can't build here. Bah. Okay, well that's going to have to go this way, I guess. There we go. For some reason these, uh... Oh no, you can't build on these. That sucks. I was going to say, for some reason you can use these, um... Things, these, uh, pedestrian roads for traffic, but... Um, I guess not anymore. I know that you can do it with uh, tram rails, but for some reason it doesn't work with uh, tro trolley lines, I guess. So we're just gonna make a nice little loop like that. Then same thing, put down one of these uh, tram line stations, hopefully right here. Yeah, I guess that works. Ooh, and we have two missions. Transport people, get the cash. Build an apartment building, or a line to an apartment building. Not gonna do that one. Though. Nice amount of money, $4,000. We're gonna hire a few more of these uh, inspectors, so that we can catch a little more of the um, the wage dodges. Is this a bus depot? Yeah, I don't know why I did that, but oh well, that should fix it. Um, now that we have that up, we can put down a few stops here. This is a nice place for a junction. And this is a nice place for a junction, so that's going to go down all the way. To here, and it's going to turn, it's going to go up into the high school area, and then it's going to come back. So let's build that line right now, so... Um, pause the game. Build one line that goes this way, this way, this way, this way, and it comes back along the same route, hitting all of the points. And then it goes back into the tram center, right? So let's get, um, let's get only one tram for that line, because I don't see it being spectacularly busy. And with that, we will be building a bus depot right next to it. And the bus depot is going to send people, uh, let's see. Let's see what we should do for this. Okay, so there's one bus that can go through this area. I'm trying to make it so that they all cover each other nicely, so then we can get one bus to go in through here, and then stop here. And then just around like this, I guess. So 
So let's see. If we leave from there, go in here, hit these places like this. Come back. And let's see what that does for the cover map. That greens up all of that area and leaves a nice little pocket here that we can also make into another junction. So let's also do that line as well. So we kind of want to. We kind of want to put people into the junctions here and here. And I think I'm just going to wait until day to do that. It's going to be dawn soon, which is going to be nice, and then we can actually see uh, where all of the major junctions are. Like, I'm playing this inside a window right now that's smaller than what my monitor would be, so it's a little hard to see. See how much we're making right now with our current setup. We're making quite a lot of money, that's very good. There we go. It's nice, it's done, and now we want to construct a network starting from this depot, and we want to kind of work our way around the side so that we can make another network that links up to everything else. So, here it goes. We'll go, come through like this. And that's going to go over there and come back through here. So we hide all of these lines. Create new. Goes from here. Now it's around like that and then it kind of comes back, hits junction right here. And then it goes into the depot. So that's going to be a nice little route that covers that area as well. We're going to buy two buses for Depot 2 because there's not that many people there. And that should like really cover up more of this area, which is perfect. So this system is going to bank us a lot of money right now. However, we can, in theory, expand this by a little bit. Oh! What bus line is this? Trolley line 2 misses a stop right here. So we're, we are actually going to add one stop right here. So it's going to go 17, 18, 19. There we go. And let's see what that does for our cover map. Yeah, much better. Breaking in a lot of money from our little network here, which is very nice. And let's take a tour of the city, I guess. Well, it looks like we're off to a nice start inside the game. I mean, we're making quite a lot of money. A nice even 5,000 for pretty much two days worth. And it looks like our company values has gone up by 16k, which is quite a lot of money. All the streets seem really clear, so that's very good. At least uh, we don't have to deal with a lot of traffic when we, were, when we are routing our networks, which will be very nice. 
and it looks like there's quite a lot of people waiting for our um, our services. There's an absolute ton of people waiting over here for the uh, metro bus system or the tram line system. Oh, I thought that bus was actually going to where that tram was going to pick up all of those people, but I guess not. Speaking of which, I'm thinking about adding another tram to our lines. Let's actually do that. Have another effective, uh, another one of these to help us maintain our satisfaction. That's going to go very, very nicely. So, um, I think we are done for the first episode inside this Let's Play. I mean, we've already established quite a nice little transport system here that has covered all of the city. Next episode, we will be focusing on linking up some of these smaller neighborhoods here and there. And then we're going to move into Lawford and see what we can do over there. So, until then, uh, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.